So I've got Scott Woodman here chatting with me today. Welcome, Scott. Hi, Danielle. Thanks for having me. No worries at all. So you attended Benigo Senior in 2013, 2014. Can you give me a little bit of a snapshot of what kind of student you were like? Yeah, sure. So 2013, 2014, it's a little while ago now. Um, as a student, year 11 and 12, I was pretty, uh, pretty driven and wanted to do well in, um, in year 11 and 12 to give my best shot at, um, you know, uh, choosing, choosing the uni where I wanted to study. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely put the head down over those two years. It was a bit of a juggling act because I was well, quite, uh, quite a sporty uh, person as well, which, um, yeah, it was a bit tricky to balance at times. But, yeah, the education was definitely um, put first for those two years, I think, um, which was definitely well worth it. Awesome, awesome. And so after you graduated from Benigno Senior, you went on to study a Bachelor of Business. What led you to that decision? Was it that you were interested in those sort of certain kind of subjects or did someone talk to you about the course and say, Hey, I think this would really suit you. Like what led you to, to going on to study that at Latrobe? Business for me was chosen as a, as a good um, platform to get myself started um, at uni. Um, I really enjoyed subjects like accounting, uh, which is what I majored in at uni and, business management and economics was another subject that I really enjoyed. So having, having exposure to those in year 11 and 12 got me, um, yeah, pretty keen to explore those further. And the business degree for me was um, something that could give me a good overview of um, the business world and what the different options were in, within that and to see what I – to see what I enjoyed. Awesome. So what happened, um, what sort of happened to, for you since Bendigo Senior in terms of, obviously you've been studying, but in terms of work as well, what have you been up to? Yeah, so um, out of university, I, well, out of school, sorry, out of year 12, I went straight into university, so I didn't have a gap year um, and studied and straight into study at La Trobe Bendigo. And then midway through, I actually had a gap year in the middle of my degree, which was um, not the conventional way of doing things, but um, that, that was fine. And um, the university allowed me to do that. I had a couple of internships along the way throughout my studies at uni, which I really enjoyed and would definitely recommend to anyone who is going to go to university. Um, a lot of the courses uh, force you, well, not force you, but uh, it's part of the course to, um, to do placement, particularly in health sciences, whereas business is not so much. Um, I guess it's more up to the student to put themselves out there and, and um, you know, find those internships and have a crack at them of your own accord. And that, and those internships really allowed me to, um, I guess, for, for me to have a look at future employers and what that might look for me and also for them to see what I can do as, a, as an employer. So, and that's ultimately um, how I landed the job that I currently work in with the city of Greater Bendigo. I had an internship with them uh, throughout my studies, which led to part-time work throughout uni and eventually led to full-time work. So I was very grateful to, um, to yeah, follow that journey through, through university and then ultimately end up getting a full-time job, which is what I was aiming for. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Um, so what, can you tell us just a little bit about your role at the City of Greater Bendigo? And I suppose, what, what do you love about your role? Yeah, sure. So I work in a, in a team called Business Services, which looks after uh, the Bendigo Airport and the Bendigo Livestock Exchange and has some other 
commercial partnerships with um, businesses that are important to Bendigo, such as the Bendigo Stadium, uh, the Golden Dragon Museum, just to name a few. And I mainly work on uh, the finance side of the unit and cover off on various um, admin tasks as well. Um, so one of the things that I enjoy is that there's so much variety in the work that I'm doing and um, there's lots of exposure to, um, to different, different projects that are going on and it's very rare that, um, you know, the, the days are, are ever the same. There's always something different popping up and, yeah, keeping me and, and the team on, on our toes. And I think that doing that work and almost uh, representing Bendigo in that work and trying to get the best outcomes for Bendigo um, as a wider um, region is really awesome, I think, because I grew up here and I love living in Bendigo. I think it's a great place to live. So to contribute to that, um, yeah, is really... Um, it's yeah awesome yeah that's so great i i love hearing about former students from Benio senior that still you know obviously a lot of people move on to melbourne or they move you know further away but i love hearing from former Benio senior students how passionate they are about our community um, i'm the same grew up in Benio, absolutely love it can't imagine living anywhere else but i think it's so great that um you've now moved into a role where you can yeah, help make Bendigo amazing and help make it such a great place to live. And I think that would be really, really rewarding. So it's very cool that that's the journey you've had since senior. A um, yeah. little bit of a, I'm just sort of wondering, how do you think, um, obviously it's been, you know, six or so years since you graduated. How do you think you've changed as a person since, um, since leaving senior? Um. Yeah, it is six years now, which is uh, pretty scary when you think about it. But um, I think since year 12, I have relaxed a little in the sense that, um, you know, things don't have to be perfect to be good. When I was in year 11 and 12, I was very, um, you know, very precise with my studies and I wanted to make sure that I was, um, you know, doing everything um, that I could possibly do to get the best outcome for my, for my studies. And I think that oftentimes throughout year 11 and 12, I was a little bit, um, yeah, maybe a little bit too full on with, um, with studies. So I think uh, throughout uni, you know, um, I think I've worked out, um, what's really important, you know, what are the things that I, I really have to do? Like say if, you know, you've got an assignment pressing, you know, that's probably the thing that you're going to focus on rather than getting, um, you know, too stressed about um, an exam that's coming up down the track. Um, yeah, so I think prioritising for me is definitely something I've gotten better at. Um, year 12 I saw as a little bit of a competition also in a way because you are being ranked against other people across the state. That's the way that the VCE system works. So, yeah, throughout uni I think like definitely and in work, you know, um, working with people a lot more rather than, um, you know, trying to keep things a secret and, you know, do the best for me, trying to instead of doing that, expanding and branching out and talking to different people about different ways of doing things. Yeah, I think that's a big change for me. Yeah, that's that's really great to hear. I think there's, yeah, it's so, it's so interesting chatting to so many people who have been through Bendigo Senior and I often like to ask, yeah, how have they changed? What's how has their perspective changed on, on things? So it's really great to hear that, yeah, by work, getting out there working, getting different experience, you, you know, exposed to so many different people and there's always so much we can learn from different people and, you know, hearing their stories. So, uh, Scott, Absolutely. I wonder, I wonder um, what's, what's 
probably the best advice that you could give to students who are currently at Bendigo Senior at the moment? Yeah, uh, sure. It's um, a pretty challenging time, I would imagine, um, to be a student in this uh, current environment that we find ourselves in, studying from home. Um, I know that working from home has been a different challenge for me and I can imagine that studying from home is also a, um, a new challenge for students. I think um, it's a great opportunity though to, for year 11 and 12 students to learn um, independently uh, and given that you don't have that physical contact at school with your teachers and um, you know, having them sort of give you a nudge and um, when there might be an assessment coming up. Um, I'm sure they're still doing that by virtual means, but it's definitely uh, a good chance to learn when to ask for help. Um, I think that's probably a very, a very good skill that I, I learned um, through year 11 and 12 and then which helped me at uni because, yeah, you're never going to... Um, to be able to figure it all out on your own and it's definitely good to be able to use those help resources where you can. So I think that's that this is a, a great opportunity to be nurturing that skill. Um, and then another piece of advice I think would be to look at the big picture when, um, when you're working through uh, SACs and I think they still call them SACs, is that correct? Yeah, and um, and the work that you're doing throughout the year, just to um, yeah, you know, if if there's there's been a period throughout this um, time of isolation where you maybe haven't gone as well as you would have liked, uh, that's that's fine. These things happen. Um, it's all about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and getting on with getting on with the task at hand. So yeah, I think. Um, yeah, look at look at the look at the year as a big as a big picture item, rather than getting focused on you know one sack here and one sack there. Um, yeah, zoom out, I guess. Zoom out, love that, and I think that's very appropriate considering we are chatting on Zoom. You've got to zoom <laughs> out the bigger picture, and you know they'll all make it in the end. So I, that's great advice. Thanks for sharing, Scott. And um, yeah, we definitely look forward to seeing what happens with you in the future, and look forward to staying in touch. Thank you. Thanks, Danielle. Cheers.